three masses each equal to m are placed at the three corners of a square of site A. The force of attraction on unit mass at the fourth corner will be dash. Now as per the given question, three masses all are equal. They kept it down. Three corners of the square. This is mass m. This is mass m. This is mass m. The square side is a. Now this is the fourth corner. The force of attraction on unit mass. Unit mass mean m is equal to the one. at the fourth corner will be so first of all between these two the force is say f1 between these two masses so between m and unit mass that is f2 if you have been observed here f1 and F2, they are perpendicular. That's why the resultant force. The resultant of F1 and F2, that is root 2F. Why? Because they are right angle. Therefore, the resultant force FR is equal to we know root over from parallelogram law f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta but theta value 90 degree so totally this term becomes 0 but f1 f2 are equal which is equal to g capital M into 1 by a square that equal to gm by a square so resultant force fr is equal to root over f square plus f square since f1 f2 both are equal to f that is root 2 f that i am telling and the force on mass m on this unit mass here the diagonal length is root 2a. That force f dash is equal to gm into 1 by root 2a whole square. That equal to g into m by 2a square. But g into m by 2a square is nothing but f. So this is f by 2. So the force due to these two is root 2 f. The force due to capital M mass on the unit mass. This is f by 2. So root 2 f and f by 2 both in the same direction. So the resultant force which is equal to sum of the two forces f by 2 plus root 2 f. This is f resultant which is equal to this is root 2 plus 1 by 2 into f thereby f resultant is equal to root 2 plus 1 by 2 into f value g m by a square so fourth option is the right option.